Morning friends, today we're coming out with episode 6, testing products in a practical way to see what actually works, trying to find out the quickest way to raise blood sugar. I'm Chris Maynard with Glucose Revival. To recap, I um, became a type 1 at the age of 22 and I became a firefighter at the age of 20. So I've, I've been able to experience, see firsthand diabetics in the worst of conditions experiencing the most common problem, low blood sugar. You can find out more at glucoserevival.com. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Diabetes is one of the fastest growing diseases. And it's crazy for me to think that if the trend continues, one out of every three will be a diabetic by the year 2050. Whereas more than 200,000 people just in America are starting to take insulin every year. So we want people to know what works best, what works the quickest for low blood sugar. And today I've been asked to try jelly beans, something I haven't used before. Um, so a serving, one single serving of jelly beans contains 28 grams of carbs and 20 grams of sugars. So we're going to cut it in half to equal the carbs that we've done in the first videos that we've been doing. So seven whopping jelly beans. Uh, my blood sugar currently is at 74. So. so we'll finish these, get back to you in 15 minutes, let you know what the good salts are, and then again in, at the end of an hour. See you soon. Now that 15 minutes have passed from taking jelly beans, my blood sugar is at 71. So now we'll wait another 45 and get the final results. Hey guys, now that an hour has passed after eating some jelly beans, my blood sugar is at 78. So it did stabilize and I'm happy with that. So uh, thank you, Mary. So now we'll move on to our next one. Here we go again. This time we're going to use peanut butter. Again, something I haven't used before, but something that was recommended. Each serving only has six grams of carbohydrates, so I'll take two servings and give it a try. Blood sugar was 72, so we'll see you in 15. After 15 minutes with peanut butter, blood sugar is at 86, so now we'll complete the hour. After an hour of eating peanut butter, blood sugar is at 106. What I like about it is probably the dietary fiber that's in there because it helps stabilize it. So I'm happy with the results of peanut butter. Hey guys, going into our third test, my blood sugar is at 60, so we're gonna go with Lifesavers. We're gonna take four of these as someone recommended and we'll see how it does and let you know. After 15 minutes, my blood sugar is at 62. And what I forgot to say is that there's 15 grams of carbs and 14 grams of sugar. So now we'll wait another 45. Now that an hour has passed after taking Lifesavers, my blood sugar is at 64. So very little improvement. Here's a fact for you. Did you know glucagon won't help treat alcohol-induced low blood sugar? Did you know low blood sugar causes more ER visits annually than meth heads? Did you know studies are showing low blood sugar requiring medical help is as common with type 2 diabetics taking insulin as it is with type 1? For type 1s, mild low blood sugars on average happens once one to two times a week, while severe happens to 30% of those annually. Friends, at the end of the day, I want to share with what works best and I want all of us to know what options we have and I want each one of us to know what can be used for any level of low blood sugar. My name is Chris with Glucose Revival. We'll see you on the next episode. Word.